Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize the sixth grade Abeka curricula. What I typically do is I rip pages from the workbooks and um, the quizzes, the tests. So I rip them out and I set them up per lesson and then I take those lessons and I put them into file folders. So it'll be week one through week 34. And then from that point, what I do is each week when say we're starting the first week of school, I will take out the paperwork from week one and I will organize it accordingly into our binder folders. Um, and I will show you guys how I do that also. So if you wanna stick around and see how I do this just to get some ideas or tips, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm here with my niece. Her name is Juliana. Hi. She's gonna be walking through with you guys on what you need to have ready so that we can do this organization together. So starting here with... Reading comprehension skill sheets. Adventure and Greatness, Speed and, and Comprehension Reader, Creative Writing with Penmanship Skills, Spelling Vocabulary and Poetry Test, Arithmetic Work Text, Arithmetic Student Quizzes Test and Speed Drills, Art C, Language Student Quizzes and Tests, language writing and grammar work text, history and geography quizzes, history and geography tests, history and geography maps and activities, observing God's world quizzes and worksheets, observing God's world tests, choosing good health quizzes, tests, and worksheets. Perfect, thank you, Juliana. You're welcome. Okay, so we are going to get started. Okay, so first we're going to be starting off with the arithmetic. And the language. Here we go. All right, you guys, so this was the homeschool um, video manual. We've torn out all of the pages here. And what we've done is we've used two different binders. So the first binder here is the beginning of the video manual book. And what we did was ripped out all the pages and we've inserted them into these clear plastic protectors. Okay, so what it does is it just goes through the, the first part. We kept them in complete order from the book okay so if you haven't already watched my um, video on the video manual i will link it down below you can always check that out so this makes more sense to you um, and then this is also um, all of the lessons so it's the daily guide all the way through lessons 170. Now the second binder we have here, this is going to be the appendix. Um, don't mind this, we've used this. This was her last year's binder. So um, starting here, it just continues on after the lessons. This was the next page. So you're gonna see our little tabs here. The reason that we've used these little post-its is because we've tried to use these, but see how small they are? They wouldn't even pass this plastic protectant. So we decided to use these last year. They worked fine. They did get a little banged up and beat up, but it's okay. Okay, you guys, so do you see here with Appendix A Bible, you're gonna pass through the Bible memory passages. And then here, once you're done reading the lessons for Bible, um, it shows here lesson five, 
you're gonna discuss what heaven will be like, so you're gonna discuss this with your kids, okay? So these are some questions that you're gonna wanna look through um, and go over with them. And then here is your teacher key for their Bible tests, okay? This was also in the manual. This didn't have its own book. And what goes along with that, that was in the manual, are these tests here. What I've done, I've just pulled them out of the manual and stuck them in here because these are gonna be filed away in our file um, crates. So here you'll find your teacher key for the tests. Okay, and then the questions you want to ask them. So moving on, you're gonna see Appendix B is arithmetic, Appendix C is reading. Okay, so this is another one that I wanted to show you. So let's get to it here. I'm gonna skip over the vocabulary and comprehension quiz. Okay, and what we've done is once we've ended the vocabulary and comprehension, it ends on quiz 34, under the reading section, there is this book, Adventures in Greatness. Okay, it's for the speed and comprehension reader. Here are the quiz answers. After lesson 19, you're gonna have quiz one, and this is the question you're gonna ask, and there is their answer. So these you will find in the manual and also I wanted to show you now this book at the beginning of the book is a reader okay the last half of the book we have the quizzes so what I've done is I've ripped it apart because the quizzes are again going to be filed in their weekly folders okay so I'm just going to set that aside and then just real quick just to give you a tip with this I'm going to rip it apart just because it looks horrible and I'm gonna do some hole punches in it and put some of those ring bindings. They're kind of like this, but they spin around. You could get them from the dollar store, Staples. I'm not sure if you could get them from Walmart or anything, but I do know that they have them at the dollar store. So I'm gonna turn this into like a spiral type bound um, reader for her. Okay, so again, these are the questions. They're in your manual. And then moving on. Here is your reading record and quizzes. This was not in your manual. This was actually part of this book. We've ripped them out and put them in here, okay? Just to keep all of the questions, the quiz answers and everything together um, because they again did not have their own um, teacher key booklet for it. It was in the video manual. Okay, so skipping on ahead, we have the reading comprehension skill sheets. Now this was a book. Okay, we've ripped it apart. So what we've done is we've ripped these out of the book. This came from the book also. Here are the quiz answers to the skill sheets, which are right here. These are the skill sheets. So these I've taken out and put them in this little slip just because these are also gonna be put with their weekly folders, okay? So moving on to the next page, this is a part of the actual manual, okay? So it came in the video manual book. So we've kept this with all of this just so that everything is together. And then this also is a part of the video manual, okay? So lesson two, skill sheet one, here's the question, here's the answers, okay? So here again are your questions and answers. So that is basically it with the things that we've added into the appendix just because half of the things that you need are already in here. So just to keep everything together in one place so you're not totally confused, it's in here. So these are what I just showed you and these are from booklets. So these are gonna be filed and then we have all of our booklets that we've torn all of the pages okay so these are all of the books what we've done we've ripped all of whoa, what we've done is we've ripped all of them away from their binding for each and every book that we showed you earlier in the video let's get into organizing per lesson okay guys so what i've done is i've looked through all the books that we just ripped up and this is kind of a bummer, but I'm noticing that these three books are the only ones that have lesson numbers at the bottom on the bottom pages. The first grade and the kindergarten 
last year. I can't remember if the fifth grade work didn't have lesson numbers at the bottom, but all of the younger grades in every book they do, mostly they have lesson numbers. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge trying to get all of the tests and quizzes and everything organized per week. I'm gonna have to cross-reference through the video manual book, um, through the daily guides, just to kind of make sure I'm on the right days. I'm gonna start organizing the lesson plans. Okay, you guys, so this is the language. I just pulled out the insides from the book. What I did here real quick is I did this little cheat sheet. Um, so this is gonna be the lessons. So let's see, one, don't mind my little chicken scratch. I did it real fast. Um, so lessons one through five is week one, six through 10 is week two, 11 through 15 is week three. This is just a little reference that I can use for a guide when I'm looking at the lesson plans, okay, for what week it needs to go into. Put the crate up here, okay. So here, it's going to say lesson one, lesson one, lesson two, lesson two. So we're gonna go all the way to lesson five, the end of five, okay? Cause this is all lesson five and then it starts lesson six. So up to lesson five is week one. I'm going to go to the burgundy file folder and stick it right in here, okay? So week one is done with language. So now six, we're gonna go to 10. There's 10, starting at 11, okay? So this is going to be week two. Wait, burgundy? Yes. 11, 12, okay, so it ends on 12 and then it jumps to 24. So this is gonna go into week three. And then we're gonna see what week 24 falls under and that's week five. Okay, so 21 to 25 is gonna be week five. Okay, so this is lesson 25. We are gonna go and put this, we're gonna skip over four and go straight to five. Okay, you guys, so I just finished with the week 34 for the um, language. And at the back of the book, it says part three, the student writer's handbook. And what this is, is it's like a cheat sheet. So the writing process, a writer's checklist, um, what do they have? A sample book report on Anne of Green Gables. So what we're gonna do here, put these in some more of the plastic protectant sheets and we'll put it in a binder for her doing the same exact thing with the arithmetic book. So at the back of the arithmetic book, after filing all of the lessons in her weekly folders, you're gonna see the supplementary exercises. So this, I'm not sure what, um, you guys want to do with it, but what we will probably do with it is we will put it in a binder for her um, And the next section is the homework problems. Okay, so starting lesson six, which is the the second week of school on Monday She's gonna have homework. So she does have a homework binder where we keep these for her um, So this may actually go in with these just in case she needs help on something or extra work She has them with her with her homework. It's just kind of together and then here the back portion now as you can see on the back of the last homework page it starts with the handbook for math what i will probably do is i will just make a copy of this and then um, have it attached to this we will be putting this in a binder for like um, a cheat sheet type thing and we will put them in protective sleeves okay guys so i'm just pulling out these from the inside here 
These are going to be quizzes, tests, and speed drills. So you're gonna see here on the speed drills, you have four different lessons. And then, that's another speed drill. And this is a quiz and it's gonna tell you lesson seven, okay? So it's gonna kinda of go back and forth here on the lessons. So don't get confused or discouraged, okay? This is time consuming now, but later on throughout the year, it will be so much easier because you can literally just go to the folder, say on Friday after you're done with school or Saturday or Sunday, whenever you do your prep for the next week. Um, and you just grab that folder and you put it in the binder and there you go for the week, you're good, okay? So let's get started. Enough of me talking. So this is gonna go in week one. This is six through 10 speed drills, so two. And again, I still have my little handy dandy notebook there. Um, quiz seven, so that's gonna be week two. This is 11. And then this is gonna be the test for lesson 12. So that's also gonna be Week three. Starting back at lesson one, I have grabbed science for the quizzes and worksheets. So now when I look through the manual, I'm gonna be looking for science. So let's see, science is gonna be after history. So, okay, nothing on that day. Okay, have quiz one ready. I'm just gonna move this out of our way. So here is quiz one, don't mind, we ripped it. Quiz one, so starting it's gonna be, oh, I already did this. So here is the lesson number. I must have done this last night. So moving on to lesson six, let's see what we need. Quizzes, have worksheet one. Okay, there we go. Let's see how I'm gonna lay this out for that. There we go. Okay. Nothing there. Quiz two, this is gonna be lesson eight. Okay guys, so I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm seeing on science that here is test one, okay? Now the book that I was working on only had quizzes and worksheets. So what I did was I pulled out my tests for science also. I'm gonna remove my pages. And then I'm gonna work on both of these at the same time, just so that I'm not going back and forth. So what I've done, I'll move my manual over so you can see. I just put my two stacks here. This has the worksheets and quizzes and this is the test. So I'm gonna go back and forth, whatever it tells me in the manual. So this is test one. Thank you. Okay, so this is, this is all test one, so a couple pages. So I stapled it together and there it shows lesson 10. So I'm gonna keep going on this guys. So next we have the Bible tests and again, it does not have the lesson numbers. So what I've had to do is I have had to go through the daily guide again and I've noticed right here, lesson 36, it shows the Bible test one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, L36, okay? And then, so these are test one for these pages. I'm gonna put this off to the side for a moment because I found test two and it's lesson 76. I have Bible three, so 106. Lesson 106. I'm going to be looking at the reading comprehension skill sheets. Start with one. This is going to be under reading. And I don't see it there. 
Readings over here. Okay, so have reading comprehension six, skill sheet one. Okay, so this is going to be lesson two. Okay. Lesson three. Lesson four. Okay, you guys, so here is the quizzes from this book. So quiz one actually starts, um, let's move this over. It starts right here reading um, Adventures in Greatness. It says quiz one. Okay, so lesson 19, can you see? Yeah, L19, okay, for lesson 19. It's lesson 24, okay. So next I have the creative writing with penmanship skills and I'm just going to pull these out. Again, um, I'm going to put these aside. Just in case my niece needs it. Okay, you guys, so I have already started on this without recording. For the health, does not start until lesson 125. Okay, so here it shows health, quiz seven. Okay, so the next lesson's 160, so obviously this is under 159. I just wrote the lesson 159, this is for the quiz, and I am just flipping it over onto my stack so then later I can organize per lesson. Okay, so just moving on. I am going to be looking for worksheet nine. And here it is, so it's lesson 161. Okay, so now I'm starting the spelling vocabulary and poetry. It starts on lesson eight, so if you were starting school on Monday, lesson one, that means your um, spelling Poetry and vocabulary tests will fall on Wednesdays. So, I've already done test one, test two, test three, and test four. So now we are gonna find test five. So here it is, lesson 28. So if it's one, two, three, four, five, you are gonna fall on lesson 33. All right, you guys, now we're gonna be starting with the maps and activities for history. So I'm gonna get back to the first lesson here. So, skill sheets. Let's go to history. Have skill sheets. Okay, so this is lesson two. Okay, so also we are gonna have the quizzes here, so I'm just gonna get this pulled out so that we can do it all at once. And that we will have the tests also. So I'm just pulling all of these out so that everything is in order. And what I have is I have the um, binder for the daily guide here, the skill sheets, the quizzes next to it, and then I have the tests next to it. You just can't see it on the table. History quiz one, that's gonna be this. 
So this is lesson three. And then lesson four. It's just gonna be reading in their history book. Skill sheet two is going to be lesson five. going to be two pages here. And this is lesson 11. Okay. Okay, you guys, here I am starting with the penmanship creative writing. And I was just going through it just to kind of get um, a first look at it before I tried to record or I actually started to record but I stopped it because I was confused um, so penmanship they wanted the kids to do lesson one um, I'm sorry page five from lesson one through lesson five okay so I'm just gonna skip to five here and show you guys right here for penmanship have notebook paper and creative writing um, page 29 ready for penmanship test one so then I started looking through here and I saw 28 okay and then the next page would have been this so I flipped it and it's 34 and I was going crazy and I had forgotten about this penmanship test. I had put them separate because these are going to go in a binder um, because I guess what they're going to need to do is they're going to um, copy the passage here and that is the test. So I have already marked test every Friday um, for penmanship so I am still going to keep this separate and I'm just going to ignore it once I get to the testing in here. Okay so moving on. Now that I am not super confused Okay, so this is actually not one through five, it's one through four. Because on the fifth lesson, they are doing a test. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the sixth and I'm pretty sure it's gonna start page six. And I'm gonna see how many lessons they go through that. Okay, so this isn't that. Okay, creative writing seven. Okay, so this was only for lesson six. Okay, so page seven is gonna be lesson eight. Okay, you guys, so I got through um, page 28, and then once I got past that, that was on lesson 81. Okay, so it says, have CW page 28 ready. In the next few lessons, students will focus on combining an overall penmanship. Okay, let me jump forward, hold on. Let me explain because I was like, where's the rest of this? Because in each penmanship ahead of 81, they don't have any more pages. Okay, so um, from 81 on, it doesn't show any other pages from the CW. Um, so it does say students will be copying the alert alliterated <laughs> sentence. Sorry guys, I'm having issues, apparently. Um, now, oh gosh, this is what I had problems with on one of my other videos when I was doing the K, when I was explaining the manual. So what they do is they use the C and then they use a bunch of words with C. So like the creeping chorus of centipedes crushed cheese crackers on the carpet. I had to say that one slow, okay? So anyways, I'm totally off topic. Okay, so. When you move on, it just says, have notebook paper and CW page 32 ready for penmanship. Okay, so that's the penmanship test. So let me skip forward a little bit. 
Here we go. Okay, students will be copying the alliterated sentence. On days that students copy alliterated sentences, the video teacher may assign additional practice ideas for variety that are not necessarily included in the daily guides. This supplemental practice can be completed as time allows, or you can assign your own ideas for sufficient practice. The most important thing is for students to complete sufficient writing practice in key areas each day. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Do not quote me on this, okay? Because I have not done sixth grade. And if I am wrong, please comment down below and let me know, okay? But we haven't started school, won't start until September. So I am thinking that these are just extra penmanship things that they want them to work on. So this is actually pretty cool. So I'm thinking that that is what that is. So I am going to put this aside. This will not be going in any lessons because we don't know where we're gonna fit these in. So next guys, we are gonna be working on language. Okay, this is the quizzes. Here we go, wow, look at that guys. I turned to the first page. All right, let's get to it. So just like all the others guys, that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna be looking for language. Where's language? Here it is. Quiz one, here we go. Last but definitely not least, we have our art. They are supposed to be on Tuesdays, but we are doing something else on Tuesdays, so I am going to make these for Wednesdays. I think my sister asked if I could label it for Wednesdays. So with this, what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to put a lesson plan on it or a lesson number on it. I am literally just going to go through um, the folders and put them in order. So project one would go week one, week two, week three, week four for each project which makes complete sense to me. All right, you guys, so what I've done is, this is just um, worksheets. This is a mixture of quizzes, tests, and worksheets, and these are all quizzes and tests. Now, if you remember at the beginning of this video, I explained to you that we have a file folder for all quizzes and tests, um, and then in another file folder for that same week, we have it for just like seat work and classwork. So what I'm going to do, since this is all seat work and classwork, and this is a mixture, and this is all quizzes and tests, I'm gonna move this aside, and I'm gonna separate the worksheets from the quizzes and tests, okay? So now I'm just going to stick these with my stack of tests and these are going to go, if I could pick them up, with my stack of seat work. Okay, this is garbage. I'm gonna take this stack, we don't need that. My lessons verse week, you know what I mean? Remember, okay, yes, you remember because it was like five minutes ago and for me it's been about two days because it's been crazy around here. Um, okay, so lesson uh, 128 would fall right here at week 26. You know what? This starts super late in the game, so I'm going to hold off on the health, okay? Because that's going to be too confusing. Let me start with um, geography and history. So lesson 2 through 5 is the first week. 7 and 9. And 15 is separate, and 20 is separate. So I'm gonna move on and do the rest of the weeks. So each little stack here is per week. So week one, two, three, so on. So here's writing. So one through four. 8 through 9, 14 through 16, all of these are a different week.
These are all of my worksheets, including this. The test out of the way. Okay, I hope I'm gonna move these because I have to put the crate here so you can see. Don't mind these, they're kind of beat up because we used them this last year. So, sorry, I was standing in my chair so I could see. Okay, so do you see how this here is going to be, uh oh, this here is going to be for the everyday um, seat work, class work, okay? Um, it's in burgundy, and then the gray is going to be for the test. See, we've already done some of them. I'm going to use this because I'm going to need this just because my brain is not working very well right now. Okay, I'm exhausted. There we go, guys. I'm just grabbing the second leak here. If I can. And then project two. That should be project two. Okay. And then health, we won't start grabbing until um, less than 128. And that would be week 26. Okay, you guys, so for some reason, we do not have all of the pages in this book. I'm not sure if there was a misprint or something, but it's not lining up and I do not wanna go any further than what I already am at just because I don't wanna mess things up. So I'm gonna have my sister call tomorrow and find out what is going on with this art book. So I can't help any further with that, but that is typically what I do. I cross-reference the project number with the weeks. So, and then I check the manual and thank goodness I do because if I didn't, then this would be completely messed up. I'm just gonna continue more with history and the health, okay? That is it for the seat work besides the art. So I'm going to start grabbing the tests. Instead of stacking them individually like I did with the others, there's so many of these. I'm just going to go through and put them where they go, okay, per stack. Now moving on to history. Here we go with the history quizzes. Last but not least, God's world. And that is it, you guys. We did all of the organizing. Yay! We 
did it. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to show you how I was going to organize them per week. So what I do is I do it per lesson now, okay? So looking at this, this is gonna be one through four, so I'm gonna set this in the Monday pile. So that would be Monday, lesson one would be Monday. Monday, Monday, here's lesson two, so Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. We already know that art is Tuesday, but my sister's actually gonna be doing it on Wednesday. So I'm gonna stack that in our Wednesday. So lesson three is Wednesday. And then lesson four is Thursday. Lesson five is Friday. So, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. So next, I'm going to take my paper clips and paper clip them. Starting with my paper clip up here at the top, that's gonna be Monday. And then I'm going to work my way down the pages for each stack with these paper clips. Um, just so that it doesn't bulge in the file folder because you know when you put all the paper clips in one spot it tends to bulge so here is Thursday's work so we'll stick it there and then here is Friday's work We'll stick at the bottom here, if I can do it. And then all of this goes into the week one folder. Okay, so this is gonna go just like that. So that is done for the seat work and classwork, and then I'm gonna move on to the test. So that will just go as is. And then I'm just gonna put these in order, okay, per lesson. Lesson three, four, five. Okay, so this is lesson seven. So what she'll do is she'll hold on to this or my sister will hold on to the test until lesson seven and then she'll give it back to her. So that's in order from Monday <clears throat> on, okay? So there's that. So that's how you guys do that. I'm gonna actually work through this whole thing. Okay, so this is my niece's binder. And my sister does it a little different than I do with my daughter. So what my niece is going to have in here is she has to redo how she wants it. But she has one folder. So this is gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hello. Hi. Look at my language. That's just big. All right, you guys, thanks for checking out my video. I hope this helps you with organizing for your new upcoming school year. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much and welcome to our family. I hope to see you on my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that like. All right, you guys, be blessed always.